going on guys all right we're um about to pull up out of no heat call so um let's get pulled in and get out and i'll talk to the homeowner and then i'll start recording all right we're up at the unit so our zone board is calling for heat let's see how it does when we kick it on it is so going off the order of operation so we'll get the call inducer will come on check and then it's pulling in this pressure switch once this switch closes it should turn the igniter on next the igniter should glow flames come out then the pressure the um, flame sensor will detect there is a flame and then it'll keep running so Inducer, pressure switch, igniter, flame sensor. So we're getting to the inducer. I can hear the pressure switch pulling in, but let's make sure we'll check that. Um, and then we'll know what we're dealing with. So first thing, it happens a lot. The pressure switch ports get clogged up with uh, debris. So we'll take this off, clean it. And, um, and then we'll check the function of this pressure switch. All right, we got that removed. That's the port up there. And you can use anything like a, uh, just a skinny wire, any type of little wire you got. You just stick it down in there and make sure it's not clogged up. And all these good ones, they're really hard to get to. So what, what I'll do sometimes, I can't while I'm doing the video, but I'll take this back off, bring it around here, and I'll suck on it, make it pull in while the operation's going, just to see. Um, but you can also take these two off, and let's see if it's closing. All right, so let's kick it on. We'll hold, keep this, um, on our switch just to see if it closes. So we know the switch is closing. So then we move further down the list. So we got the inducer, check, pressure switch, check. So next is the igniter. All right, so you <clears throat> usually can always find where the igniter wire is, and there's usually a harness you can undo right here. Undo this harness, and from the side going to the board, you stick your leads in, check for voltage. All right, we're set up for voltage. And then you're just going to stick your leads in it. You can stick them right down in the middle of them. And it should fit perfectly in there. Just like that. Alright, 
So once this pressure switch closes, it then should be send, sending the voltage to this igniter. And uh, we'll see how it, how it looks. Pressure switch pulled in. Right now, the igniter should be coming on any second. So, the igniter's not coming on, and we know everything else is working properly, we can confidently say this board is malfunctioning. It's not sending this, the power to the igniter like it should, and we're verifying each operation before that is working properly. So we are going to be replacing this furnace control board. That's going to be the issue today. All right guys, so that pretty much does it. Um, we're gonna get this board ordered and uh, come back and replace it and get them some heat going. But um, the, the order of operation for a furnace is super simple and there's no reason to overthink anything. I'll put a, uh, I'll try to put a diagram up next where it shows the order of operation, but um, just to speak it again, it's, it's the 24 volt signal to W. After it gets that signal, it should kick the inducer motor on, okay? Once the inducer motor runs, it should pull that pressure switch in, and that pressure switch gets pulled in, it closes that connection, and then it should send the, the voltage to the igniter. And then after the igniter lights, the, after the igniter gets red and lights up, then the gas valve should, it should send the signal to the gas valve to open. Gas comes out, flames come out, the last thing in the operation is the flame sensor. It detects there's a flame there, closes that switch, and then the blower can come on and it can heat. Any type of issue with a furnace, you can watch the operation and know when it clicks out what operation or what step you was in. Um, and that'll give you a really good idea where to start and where to look. All right, well, I hope that diagram helped, and um, we'll see you at the next video.